In this box, I have the Light Me Neo, a HDMI sync box and TV backlight kit. Sync box, I hear you say? Hmm, sounds familiar. Video up here somewhere. Well, if this looks as good as the marketing videos I have seen, this could well be the Philips Syncbox Play Killer. This is not a sponsored video, but like me, were kind enough to send me this to have a look at, unbox, and have a play with. So thank you to like me for supporting small creators such as myself. From what I can gather, like me are a relatively new player in the, the smart home slash light space, with this being their very first product offering here in the UK at least. So with that being said, I would probably expect there to be some teething issues, although everything I've seen so far does look pretty well polished. So fingers crossed, no issues. As always, let's start by seeing what we get in the box. I will, however, pre-warn you for all the Karens out there, this particular one will have a US power plug, but when they go on sale on Amazon in the UK, of course, you will get a UK plug. When on sale, the Light Me Neo will retail on Amazon for around 175 pounds, Great British pounds, compared to the Philips Hue Alternative, which, just for the sync box alone, no lights, cost 230 pounds at time of filming this video. So straight away, this is a far more attractive proposition from a cost point of view, but what about functionality? The lights are driven through the HDMI input on the sync box, the same as the Philips Hue, which basically means it pulls the lighting information from the HDMI signal to send directly to the lights, whereas the Hue Play needs to send this info to the bridge first, all of which then relays it to the lights, whereas this little beauty doesn't require a bridge. One less thing to go wrong in my eyes. And as you expect, you can link it with your favorite smart home assistants for voice control, i.e. Alexa and Google. Are there any other smart home assistants? Let me know, comment down below. So in the box we have Neo by LightMe user manual. A HDMI cable, our power plug, which as I said, this isn't a um, UK, this is US, but there will be a UK one when it goes on sale on Amazon. The Neo itself, which is the actual sync box part of it. It's lightweight. Under here we have corner brackets, mounting stickies, and then we have, ooh, we have two of the lighting strips. 2.35 meters and 2.35 meters. So uh, in total, what's that? 4.7 meters. So other than the cost difference, what makes this one better or, or different from the rest? Well, for starters, the kit will support a 55 inch up to 120 inch screen. It has the ability to be paired with an uh, unlimited number of lights and has an IP65 waterproof rating. Why? I don't know why. Do you? Some other points that make this different, and I guess is why they're able to offer at a competitive price, is this only has a single HDMI input, meaning you can only connect one source device, and it only supports HDMI 1.4b, which sounds technical, but basically that will allow for a 4K image, but limited to 30 hertz refresh rate. So whilst that will be fine for me with a, a single Apple TV box used for movies and TV shows, this wouldn't be great if you had multiple, multiple, multiple devices, such as a game console and an Amazon TV Fire Stick, for example. Uh, it may also not be for you if you're what I like to call a proper gamer and you want to make use of high-end refresh rates on your new fancy consoles. So I've unboxed it and talked about it enough, so let's take it all and go set it up in the study and see how easy it is to install, how easy it is to get working on the app, and more importantly, how cool it looks. Let's go. To test the Neo sync box and lights, I'm gonna be using this, an LG Smart TV. And just like any other sync box, we can't use the built-in apps on this TV because they don't output the signal anywhere. They're inside the telly. So we need an input source, something for the box to read the light information from. And I am gonna be using this, my original Apple TV 4K 2020 version. Let's get it all connected 
get started. I have a HDMI cable from the Apple TV to the Neo SyncBox input port, and then a HDMI cable from the SyncBox's output port to the TV. That was a bit of a tongue twister, but yeah, all connected, simples. The light strips have a USB connection on them, which makes sense because I was wondering how they would connect with the sync box without a bridge. So that answers that question. The box connects directly via USB. So in theory, we should see a much quicker and much more responsive image to light reaction as there's no wireless internet connection or bridge involved whatsoever. So time to uh, power it on and uh, see what's what. So that's the sync box connected. We got some output on the lights there and now we need to turn on the TV with the TV remote that's over there. So initially what I'm looking for is just some kind of output on the telly. Okay so we have our output on the TV which looks like it has auto selected 4k at 30 hertz. Now what we need to do is take a look at the app. Now the, the Light Me app which when this goes on sale in the UK you'll be using is available in both the Android and the iOS store aptly named Light Me. But in the interest of our openness and honesty. Uh, I have already dry run this setup and uh, tried using the Light Me app and I have had a few problems. The app would find the sync box via Bluetooth but then would fail when connecting it to my wireless network. Now to be fair to the guys over at Light Me, they have been very responsive in updating their app to try and fix the issue but for this video I'm going to be using an alternative app called Stupkler called Two Year Smart, which is a generic smart device management app which works with the whole setup. Like me will have the issues fixed shortly and have advised me that using their own app will mean you will have a better support for future light additions such as ceiling light, desk light, lamps and so on. But for now, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using Two Year Smart because I'm on a schedule for my videos and I can't wait anymore and because I want to test the hardware and I want to see the end result and see how good it is. So we open the Two Year Smart app and it automatically discovers our screen sync smart light. So go to add and give it our wireless information, which you can see I've already got in there. Next. And then we get the little progress symbol to tell us how far through the setup process it is. It took about 10 seconds for it to get the green tick. It's found the device and added it successfully. So click on next. I can rename the device if I want, but for now I am done. And please confirm the lamp setting. Confirm. I'm using a light strip. Next. I'm getting lights on the light strip. So apparently we're done. If we show the uh, fluid test now, we should get, there we go, random light flickering and moving around, which shows me there is some kind of reaction on the lights. So the next thing to do is get them on the telly, so. <laughs> Okay, so there you go, they're all stuck up with sellotape, mind you, because I'm, I'm not sure whether they're staying here yet. Each LED strip does actually have 3M sticky on the back, so you can stick them to the TV. You may have also noticed I've tucked the excess behind rather than cutting it off as per the manual so that the color may be slightly out on the TV because it thinks it's using a bigger TV. The reason I haven't stuck or cut yet is because I'm not sure whether the lights are gonna stay here or whether I'm gonna put them in my bedroom. Uh, I'm gonna make a follow-up video on this to let you know how I'm getting on with the box itself, but more importantly, showing you the Light Me app when they've sorted their issues which should hopefully be done within the next couple of days or so. So first impressions are the Light Me Neo Box. It works, it's quick, it's fast, it is very lightweight, doesn't feel as, how can I put it? There is no way to put it. It doesn't feel as high quality as the Philips box, but then you are paying a premium for the Philips Hue brand name. But for someone that has a, a Chromecast, a Kindle Fire Stick, an older Apple TV 4K that they're happy to run at 30 hertz, this works really, really well. And apart from the initial app issues, it's very quick, very easy to set up. And basically, as you can see, it just works out of the box. So I think once their app is sorted, this could be a pretty good proposition uh, for those on a budget that want a HDMI sync box, but don't wanna to have to pay a fortune to Philips. No brainer. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments box below. Like I said, I will make a follow-up video and I'll leave that in the comments box down below as well. Let me know if you have any other comments, questions, or feedback. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified when I upload the videos because I'm gonna be uploading another video as always. Anyway, I'm waffling. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, internet. Put a shade on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me.
Why they throwing shade on me? 